Hello, this is a Sheet Mayer Grand Piano, 189 centimetres long, and it's a very similar style to the Model A, old Model A Steinway, and very similar quality as well. Steinway is, of course, much more common, and um, this piano is really very similar quality. Um, you might notice if you're in the trade, this sort of beading style, which is used on Steinway as well. And we'll look at one or two other uh, similarities, but. We've replaced the legs on this one. Um, they, they had square legs, should have had turned legs. And you can see the lyre. That was the original lyre, um, which is definitely dating it. Uh, around about 1881, I believe. Now, the piano's been French polished. This takes about 70 hours, and it's about 30 coats of French polish applied. And rosewood is very varied wood, so it gets a beautiful grain uh, We'll have a look at some more of it in a second, but just to get some idea, that's uh, slightly plainer on the front, but you can see some uh, difference in grain there as well. There's 85 keys, by the way. This is same as a uh, Model A Steinway, another feature that's identical to that. And then, indeed, the piano frame, as we'll see in a minute, is very similar to a Steinway frame. And on the top lid here, you can see the, the rosewood how you get these black lines, very light colours, and then the original, that, this is all original rosewood colour, we haven't added any colour to it, so it's natural rosewood. And in the centre of the lid here again, uh, very contrasting grain colours, right from black to quite a light colour, so uh, particularly pretty wood, we really appreciate repolishing rosewood. And here's the long side of the piano. Legs, by the way, are never rosewood. They're usually beech nowadays, um, and they have to be faked in to make it look like the rest of the piano. But um, So it requires quite a lot of artistry to get them to match, and get the colours to match can be difficult too. But if you look at the long side of the piano, I think there's been a few defects we've had to sort of mask in as well that were on the veneer itself, rather than re-veneering. Obviously, it's much nicer to do that. And looking at the top lid again, so the contrast on the side of the top lid. Now with time this will fade as it always does, and uh, you get faded rosewood which is much lighter. Um, so you have to make sure that this is kept sometimes open and sometimes closed so that it fades evenly. And most people keep this open and therefore you, when you lift it up you find this is very light colour and then underneath here is very dark colour. So to avoid that, it needs closing regularly, uh, opening regularly, so the opposite doesn't take place, so that the, this part here ends up being very dark and the, the other part light. So as much variety as possible, really, because it will fade, whatever. Uh, it doesn't need just, it's not just sunlight that fades it, it's general light fading the casework. A very attractive music stand. And this is the... Uh piano stool to match, we've made the piano stool to match the piano so that the legs are as similar as possible. Obviously that's, again, that's beechwood, so it needs to be stained in as to match as well as possible. Now before we get to listen to the piano, just the inside here, you can see the frame's been finished as authentically as possible um, to the original colour and uh, a new rest plank underneath here, so the tuning pins are going into new wood. I mentioned on the video where we were assessing this piano, there was a problem here, these tuning pins were too close. Well now they're smaller, because it's obviously with a new wood, you can put smaller pins in, and they're not too close. This, this lever, by the way, is quite wide anyway, um, so a smaller lever may have just about fitted with the, what, how it was before, but now there's plenty of gap, as you can see, plenty of gap there to um, access the tuning pins. So it's not a very common problem, but occasionally you do get this problem where tuning pins are too close. And obviously, if we're replacing the rest plank, it's an opportunity to put them further apart. Now these are top quality German strings. A new bridge here as well as the new soundboard. I forgot to mention that. This has got an absolutely new soundboard, as you can see. Perfect Strunt soundboard, which is one of the top European makers. And uh, very suitable for the piano, as we'll hear in a minute. And uh, these wedge dampers are mentioned in many other videos. We put them as far up as we can. Uh, whereas they would have been to about here. This The half wedge, by the way, the front of these are, are flat, um, but very often you find flat dampers here, but we like to increase. The, these are flat dampers in the top where it doesn't, obviously, not so significant. So get a very good damping here. As good as the wedge dampers here. Now the tone of the piano 
very warm indeed, as you'd expect from a Shidame, and the soundboard is well matched to the piano, so very resonant indeed, and uh, beautifully rich tone. Another aspect that uh, Steinways do, and very few other makes have this, where this front rail lifts separately from the rest, um, lifts up like that, can be useful when you want to regulate the piano. And also like Steinway, the, the fall is integrated to the cheek, so um, exactly the same as the Steinway in that respect. Now looking at the action here, we've replaced hammer shanks and rollers, as we mentioned in the video made of the assessment of this piano, that's necessary to do. And um, so it's been, re new rollers are really important because it feels a lot smoother if we play it, so you can feel the smoothness. And we've regulated the springs here, they're springing up as they should, not too hot fast, otherwise it doesn't feel right, but as fast as you, we can, so it still feels right, and so it's got you know, plenty of years wear in it before it goes too weak. And this, as you can see, has got not just got graphite lubricant on, but it's also got some dry lubricant, which is put on all new pianos. And by this is a Renner, um, so Renner shanks and Renner hammers as well. Uh, the very best has gone into this piano. So that's uh, Sheed Mayer, Grand piano, 190, 189 centimetres long, and uh, I think made in 1881. And very similar to the Model A Steinway Grand of the old Model A's, very many similarities. And certainly similar quality. And the action plays as good as a new piano. There really is, uh, if you re restore a piano and spend a lot of time doing it, then um, there's no reason why it shouldn't feel like a new piano. And sounds like a, an old style piano, so the best of both worlds, really. There's some very fine voicing still to do. Beautiful tenor. Thank you very much for listening.